So first up then, here's your lineup for the women's pole vault. Marta Onofra of Portugal. 451 this season. Ramala Malkova of the Czech Republic, the Czech indoor champion this year. And the smile of Nicole Buschler of Switzerland, the Swiss record holder indoors and out. And from Brazil, a big year for the Brazilians, Fabiana Mura, the former world champion, indoors and out. Eliza McCartney of New Zealand, still just 19 years old, and enjoying her entrance. Nicoletta Kiriakulu, the 29-year-old from Greece. A big cheer for Sandy Morris of the USA, the world number two, the US champion. Ekaterini Stefanidi of Greece, the world number three this year. And then wait for the cheer. Jennifer Shear of the United States, the Olympic champion, the world record holder, the final athlete introduced in this women's pole vault final. Jennifer Scheer, she has vaulted 5.03. We're awaiting ratification of that new world record this winter. You see that world lead. Would it be higher today? Doesn't matter. It's all about the world indoor gold medals. And Jennifer Scheer in wonderful form to potentially pick up only the USA's second gold medal in this women's pole vault. So there's confirmation of the athletes who are introduced. Alana Boyd is a non-starter, but 4.35 then first up on Othra of Portugal. Oh, the first attempt, the first piece of action at these World Indoor Championships. It's a failure for the 25-year-old. Quite a tough for her. She's made big progress this year. She's taken the Portuguese record up to 4.51. But a starting height of 4.35 is higher than she'd be used to. One sad non-starter, Alana Boyd, who was due to be fourth on the start list, doesn't compete here, but the field of 10 or 9 now completed by Jen Sir of the United States America. But she won't be coming in for a while, Catherine. No, she's due to come in at 4 metres and 60. So a first failure for Anofra. Malkova then of the Czech Republic. 4 metres and 62, an indoor season's best, an indoor personal best this winter. Oh, another failure in the women's pole vault. So it's going to be fast and furious, guys. They're trying a new technique here of one vault each. A male, a female, a male, a female. We're going to keep across it for you, but so far no clearances in this women's pole vault at the height of 4 metres and 35. She'll come back and offer up. Second attempt then at 4 metres and 35. Peter mentioned 4 metres and 51. An indoor season's best and personal best this winter. Eighth at the World Student Games last year. So second attempt at 4.35. Oh no, the height was there. She'll have one more attempt for the Portuguese athlete. The Malakova, the Czech Republic. We have nobody clear yet in the women's pole vault final. It is early doors, just the two athletes attempting four meters and 35. And the Czech Republic athlete be the first one to go clear. She can indeed, over for the second time of asking. 4.35 for the 28-year-old. She's still in the mix. Marta Onofra of Portugal, third and final attempt at the opening height of 4 metres and 35. They brought the crowd in. Look at that in the backdrop there. Looks like... School kids given a wonderful opportunity to be close to the action here in Portland on this opening session of these World Indoor Championships. Amata Anothra of Portugal then to stay in the competition, her third and final attempt at four meters and 35. Well, that's a disappointment for her, obviously, to come here and have no height, but this is her real chance to compete at the highest level. She wouldn't have expected the start of the season. I don't think that she would be able to get here. She's already set the national record. Pity she can't do anything here, but I'm sure she'll benefit from the experience of competing alongside the world's best. But, I mean, her personal best is way down on all the others, uh, so it's not a surprise she's gone out, but it would have been lovely if she could at least have got a height in. Ramana Malakova then 
Second time of asking over four metres and 35. Takes the breath. So the majority of this women's pole vault field due to come in now after Malakova at this new height. Well, she gives herself a little fist bump. It takes a rattle, but she goes over. Nicole Buchler of Switzerland enters the competition. The Swiss record holder indoors now 11 times the Swiss champion. Experience, 32 years old now, in good form, 4 metres and 75. This 2016 season. All but Jennifer Schur be entering the competition in this women's pole vault final at this height. Boys, she's ready. First attempt then for the Swiss athlete, 4 metres and 50. Oh, yes. She gives the crowd a wave. Miles over. She, too, is getting better and better. And, of course, there's American interest here. She's actually married to an American pole vaulter, Mitch Greeley. 35 years old, 471 this indoor season, 483 at her best last year indoors. The former world champion indoors and out. Her first attempt, 4 metres and 50. Oh, yes, throws the pole away. Starting as she means to go on, the Brazilian. And, of course, Catherine, as you may have mentioned, lovely clearance there, very consistent vaulter. And, of course, Brazil's best chance for a track and field gold medal when it comes to Rio. Absolutely loving it. The music's pumping. The pole vaulters are delivering already. And here's Eliza McCartney. McCartney from New Zealand, 19 years old. First attempt, 4 metres and 50. Mother was a gymnast, father was a high jumper. Oh! And she cleared that by such a margin, but of course it's a New Zealand indoor record. <laughs> One of the reasons is they don't have indoor athletics in New Zealand. She's a brilliant new talent, oh. and she's taken the Oceania record all the way up to 480 this year. Huge regular improvement. She's still just 19 years of age, as you said, but a national record, as one would expect, and she may well challenge the Oceania record as well. Kiri Akapulu of Greece. World Championship bronze last year. Four metres and 50. First attempt. Oh, wasn't the smoothest of techniques. Hoisted herself over. World number five this year with four metres and 81. Getting some good clearances, as Peter mentioned, at this height of four metres and 50. Kiri Akapulu. Arrived here in Portland in good form, over 4.50 first time of asking. Well, here's a new name potentially for many track and field fans around the world. Sandy Morris of the USA passing at 4.35, the world number two this year, but the US champion last week will be going shortly. Sandy Morris is the US champion, she does. And look at that, another who's well clear. Well, she really emerged last year and she went to the Worlds and performed with distinction there. But these uh, young American collegians, both Payne and Morris, last year made very big breakthroughs from a sort of 420 area all the way up. Now they're in the 490 area. Well, that 495, as you mentioned, Peter, the third highest vault of all time last weekend. Stefanidi of Greece, world number three this year. First attempt at four meters and 50. Meters and 90. The Milrose Games in New York is coming here for a medal. And she's starting it off perfectly. Who's to say in 30 minutes, an hour or two hours time, the early failures may not. Well, these athletes will be hoping they don't cost them a medal. So early clearances are vital. That's Jennifer Scher. She's coming in at this height of 460. But here's the athlete to have the first attempt. Romana Malakova of the Czech Republic. Experienced at 28. Didn't qualify in the World Championships, the outdoor version in 2009. Up to 4 metres and 62. And now her first attempt then at 4 metres and 60. No. 
Two more attempts, if needed. Nicole Buchler of Switzerland. We've only lost one athlete then across both the men and women's pole vault final so far. An offer has gone from Portugal in the women's pole vault final. With Malakova not going over four metres and 60 on her first attempt. Buchler from Switzerland will be the first athlete to clear. Has a little chat with herself. Or 75 this winter. And the Swiss record holder will be the first over the new height. Oh, nearly, but it came down. So the same as Malakova, she will have two more attempts if needed. Kukla now 32 years of age. She was a late starter, in fact, in athletics. She was a gymnast, I think it was, beforehand, and uh, is in the form of her life this year. She would certainly expect to clear this height, I think, having uh, been over 470 on a number of occasions. Mura, first attempt 460, another ex-gymnast. There's many of them in the pole vaulting world, carrying the pole high. Oh! <laughs> a bit lucky. Well, unlike Bukla in the vault before, Mura's bar does stay on. The first athlete to go over the height of 4 metres and 60. You see the high point was there, but brushed it off with the chest on the way down. But they all count, as we say. Just to pick up Rob's point a little bit, a lot of, uh, we have street athletics for pole vault in the US, they have a lot of beach vaults and so on, taking it to the public. But also, of course, in the indoor season. So, Kiri Akapulu is up next then, her first attempt at four metres and 60. Sets. And she goes first time over four meters and 50. Remember, can she do the same again? Well, she can, a slight rattle, but just like Mura, it's staying on. And let's just remind ourselves the standards here. We're looking at 460, most of the field are still in it. Not one to be messed with, Sandy Morris. Can she go over now at four meters and 60 in super form? Oh, wonderful. You don't become the third highest vaulter of all time, jump vaulting 495 for no reason. Absolutely wonderful form, the American. Stefanidi of Greece. Over four meters and 90 indoors this season. Her first attempt then at four meters and 60. Says she's afraid of heights. Well, she's going to need some super heights here this evening to get a medal. Oh, yes. Well, she's certainly a contender. Now, they had plenty of American interest. I mentioned before she was at Stanford, and she now lives in Phoenix, Arizona. Beautiful part of the world. Beautiful clearance. Especially laid track in the convention center here. A low ceiling as well. Trust me, when we get up to the heights, potentially of the men of six meters and five meters for the women, they will have the room. It might be a little bit scary and daunting for them because of the low ceiling here. But it's making a wonderful atmosphere here on this first session of the 16th World Indoor Championships. And Stefanidi has a word with the coach, but so far so good, over 450 for the first time of asking, and now four meters and 60. Means very shortly, here she comes. The introduction of Jennifer Scheer of the US of A, her opening height she had the world record at five meters and two, and she's waiting for a new height of five meters and three. 16 foot six in American money to be ratified. And as you mentioned, Peter, that equaling world record of four meters and 40 when Stacey Dragila won the first ever official world indoor championships back in 1997. Thought the event has come a long way. Husband coach Rick Scher persuaded her to try pole vault after he watched her playing basketball. And she's got to wait, in fact, because, of course, we'll have the next men's um, first one. Was it man last? Anyway, she's getting ready. Just a reminder that every athlete has, once they are told that they're ready for them, has one minute to complete their jumps until we get to the very final stages of the competition. Well, here she comes, the world record holder, a genuine gold medal hope for the US of A. 
Oh, easy does it. 16 times the US champion. Second at those US Indoor Championships here last weekend behind Sandy Morris. But Jennifer Schur has been there and done it. She's the Olympic champion. And it was a great first time clearance. Waited patiently. Entered the competition with a little circle, meaning she's up and running in this women's pole vault final. So shortly, Romana Malakhova will take her second attempt at four meters and 60. Four sixty second attempt, Malakhova runs down. No, very, very similar to her first attempt. She'll have one more effort to stay in this women's pole vault final. Eukla of Switzerland then, her second attempt at four meters and 60. She's seen Malakhova fail twice. And so far, Mura, Kiri Akapulu, Morris, Stefanidi, Sherp, all over. They'll continue on to the next height, which is four meters and 70. But all the thoughts at the moment of the Swiss athlete are on this second attempt at four meters and 60. Over four meters and 75 this winter. Can she correct the mistakes of the first failure? She can't, she'll have one more attempt to stay in the competition. Yes, again, plenty of height, but just coming down on the bar there. A little disappointing for her, but there's every reason to think that she can do it. So third and final attempt for the Czech indoor champion. Outdoors, her personal best is four meters and 50, which she vaulted back in 2014, but four meters and 62. Close to her lifetime best. We're getting to the top end of the current talent of Ramala Malakova. Third and final attempt then at four meters and 60. No, not really close, I'm afraid. So we've lost the two women who were actually added to the field. What happened this year is the IF set very high qualification standards for the field events. And if they didn't fill the requisite number that they needed, they then invited the next people on the ranking list. And Malakova and Onofra were the two who were added to this field, who had to actually achieved the qualifying standard before. So perhaps not too surprising that they're the first two athletes to go out. Her last attempt at four meters and 60. It's within her compass, having gone over four meters and 75. Nicole Buchler. Very nice, oh, very nice. Beautiful, well, <laughs> she gives the crowd a wave and breathes a sigh of relief. She continues in the Women's Pole Vault World Indoor Championship final. And that was a nice clearance. Good space over the bar. Very Good standard. speed down the runway, wasn't it? And then almost perfect technique to get that. No, and a was. little bit of relief though, we could see. Meanwhile, four meters and 70, the new height in the Swimmies Pole Vault final, fresh off her 460 clearance. And a big clearance it was, Nicole Buchler. Is the first athlete to attempt the new height. She definitely had the clearance over the four meters and 60, but that's done and dusted now. She's got to come back and do it again at the new height. First attempt then for the Swiss athlete. Oh, a run through. Well, perhaps for her, it was a little bit too soon after her efforts at 460. Fabiana Mura. First attempt then at four meters and 70. An indoor season's best of four meters and 71. So she ever needed to start pulling out some big clearances. It's at this world indoor final. 35 years old now, but we know the talent, but looking a little bit slow on the runway, generating no speed and height therefore on her first effort of four meters and 70. No, got the timing all wrong there, really. But Eliza McCartney, first attempt at four meters and 70. We know how high she was over four meters and 50. She passed at four meters and 60. Oh. And? As long as she doesn't break the plane of the uprights, then it's okay. So she's got time to come back. 
I must say, that previous clearance, I mean, you know, a national indoor record, I think she's only probably competed once indoors before. She set a New Zealand record a couple of years ago at 4.27. Since then, she set masses of outdoor records. She really is a very, very exciting talent, still just 19 years of age. So, in the time, you can see the clock, 10, 9, but she's up and running. First attempt at 4 metres and 70. No. She was rushing, understandably, to get going before that minute that she's allowed ran out. Great thing is she's obviously enjoying it. Kiri Akapulu, first attempt at 4 metres and 70 for the Greek athlete. No, not close. Sandy Morris, first attempt at 4 metres and 70. We currently have four athletes, five athletes, tying for a gold medal position. Early stages, of course. Failures are not wanted. First attempt for Morris then, 4 metres and 70. Oh, talk about wrapping yourself around the bar. The white headband, the long white socks, and a smile from Sandy Morris. The first athlete over 4 metres and 70, she brushed it with her left quadricep, but it stayed on. And so far, three heights attempted and three clearances for the American champion. Stefanidi of Greece, can she follow Sandy Morris with a clear scorecard so far? 54-60, nice and easy. Her first attempt now then at 4 metres and 70 to try and join Morris. Oh, beautiful. It's compact. It's tidy. And she too goes over four meters and 70. The track here, the specially laid track at the convention center is fast. The runways are fast. Athletes have to make adaptations for that though when they're putting their run-ups out. Cater for the speed of the surface. And Nicole Buchler of Switzerland then. Four metres and 70, her second attempt. Four athletes will come and take a second attempt at this height following Morris and Stefanidi's first time clearance. Second attempt at 470 then for the Swiss star. Oh, she'll do exactly what McCartney did. See the clock there on the right hand side of the screen. She didn't break. The plane of the upright, she has a quick glance. You've got about 10 seconds left. Oh, no. It's always a rush, isn't it? The red flag is raised by the official. She'll have one more attempt at the height of four meters and 70. Can she follow a teammate? Can Fabiana Mura? on the second time of asking, go over four metres and 70. Outdoor, personal best, 485. She's done that in three seasons in total, but she needs this clearance. Well, she gives herself a little thump and she'll only have one more attempt to stay in. She puts her head in her hands. So the bar tumbles down, so still only Morris and Stefanidi over 470. Muir will come back for one final attempt. Now can Eliza McCartney, the rising star of women's pole vault, that there is no doubt, takes her second attempt at 4 metres and 70. Oh yes! Again, not particularly the tidiest, Peter, but it doesn't matter. It's a clearance. She stays Indeed. onwards and upwards. And another national record, of course, for one of those athletes who I think is one of the most exciting new talents that we see in world athletics. And this was a little ragged, but 470. I mean, her best last year was 440-odd until the end of the year when she suddenly broke through. She's been setting masses of New Zealand records all the way up there. Not a bad track record. She was fourth in the world uh, youth when we were there in the net uh, three years ago, third then in the world juniors thereafter, but then a massive improvement. She's broken out of that level. We'll see more of her. Kiri Akapulu of Greece, her second attempt then at four meters and 70. 
gone over four meters and 81 indoors this season, do not forget. Well within her compass. But no, under the bar, she'll have one more attempt at this height of four meters and 70. Because she won't want to join Onofra. Malakova. Quite a contrast here, isn't there, between her and Stefanidi. And Stefanidi's got so much better big meeting record than Kiriakapulu. Although Kiriakapulu, they've been swapping Greek records for a little while, in fact. Kiriakapulu has the big jumps, but hasn't been hitting it off tonight. I mean, clearly 460 is not bad, but such is the standard. That, you know, she's got to be aiming the 480s, 490s for a medal. Eucla of Switzerland then. Her third and final attempt at four meters and 70. Getting nearer best, four meters and 75. She needs to get the inspiration she had on her third vault, didn't she, at 460, which was a very nice clearance. Nice to remember all about that rather than the two failures she's had since then. Well, once you've been over it before as an athlete, once you've done it before, you know you can do it and you're capable. She's not asking herself to go into realms that she's not done in recent weeks, but to stay in the World Indoor Championship. Buclep, final attempt. Oh, yes, she found it, Peter. You said she needed to find what she did at four meters and 60. And the Swiss star, third attempt at four meters and 70, just like 460, goes over. So the chats with the coaches would have taken place for Fabiana Mura, the Brazilian athlete, her third and final attempt at four meters and 70. 450 first time, 460 first time. This is a height that's giving her trouble. The former world champion, remember, indoors and out. Looked a bit laboured on the run-up. Let's see if she can get it right this time. No. So the Brazilian star will want to make drastic improvements between now and August, heading towards those Rio Olympic Games. But Fabiana Mura is the third athlete out of this women's pole vault final. Of course, an Olympic year, that's what athletes are focusing on, but at this moment in time, they've come and they want to deliver. And Fabiana Mura from Brazil. Kiri Akapulu of Greece, her third and final attempt at four meters and 70. Her teammate Stefanidis having a ball, and if she wants to stay in the party. No. So Kiri Akapulu follows Mura exiting the women's pole vault final. Nicole Buchler of Switzerland, the new height then, four meters and 75. She's the first athlete to attempt the new height. This would equal her personal best. She's set this 2016 season. Swiss indoor champion, third at the Stockholm IAAF tour meeting. First attempt then at four meters and 75. Finding it difficult to come back so quickly after you've had three attempts, just as we saw at the previous height, needs to just take it easy, calm. I mean, it must be occurring to her that even perhaps a pass at the um, next attempt might be sensible, because she's been busier than any of the other competitors, Catherine. Sandy Morris then, the US champion. First attempt at four meters and 75. McCartney has passed, so it's down to the big new US champion. Oh, no. Remember, she went over four meters and 95, but she has a first time failure at four meters and 75. Stefanidi of Greece, her first attempt at four meters and 75. You can't get a better scorecard than that. Currently tying with Sandy Morris in the gold medal position. Five athletes remaining in this women's pole vault final. Can she go over the new height of four meters and 75? Oh yes, 
Well, Stefanidi doing what Kiri Akapulu couldn't do, which is continue to fly the flag for Greece. And no failures so far. 475 is a good height. That could be crucial when it comes to medals. Indeed. Four, I mean, we, we may well get higher heights than that, but nonetheless, 475 puts her in a very good position. It puts her into the gold medal position at the moment, of course, with McCartney passing at 475, and Jennifer Shirt will be the next to attempt. So a fresh pair of legs and arms for Jennifer Shirt, just her second height that she's attempted in this final. Her first attempt then at 4 metres and 75, she flew over 4 metres and 60. Oh, talk about setting a precedent. Yeah, I lost the US title last week, but oi, I'm the Olympic champion, I'm the world record holder. And that was a very, very competent piece of pole vaulting. Join Stefanidi over 4 metres and 75. Only two women in history have gone over five metres indoors. Jen Shearer at 5.03, Yelena Rissenbaeva at 5.01. We're looking at quality, as you'd expect at a World Indoor Championships. Doesn't get much better than two vaults and two clearances. And I hope we will later be seeing her attempting perhaps a five metre type clearance. Um, every possibility the way she's looking at the moment. Eucla of Switzerland, her second attempt then at four metres and 75. Looking to equal that personal best that she set this indoor season. Didn't qualify at the European Championships in 2012 or in 2014 in Zurich. Second attempt then at 4.75. Well, oh. better. It was a lot better, wasn't it, Peter, than her first attempt. She'll have one more effort. To equal that personal best, to stay in the pole vault final. Sandy Morris from the USA. The second attempt at 4 metres and 75. And 20 centimetres down from that 4 metres and 95 that she vaulted to become US champion just last week. We know the form she's in. Her teammate and world record holder, Jennifer Sherp. Fly over and Sandy Morris We'll be looking to soak up the atmosphere and the support she's getting. The rhythmical clapping is going. Sandy Morris, second attempt at four metres and 75. Oh, well, she hit it, but it's dead on. There we go. The crowd liked that one. Sandy Morris likes that one. And America <laughs> are still flying high in this women's pole vault final. See how hard she hits it. That brings her up into the bronze medal position. Again, scrapes on the chest. But hits it straight down so it bounces up and down. But I mean, that was quite hitting it quite hard. 15 foot seven is the uh, aerial equivalent of the height now we're at, 475. Working out what, what's needed, Sandy Morris also. Further down, Fabiana Moro, who uh, will be a little disappointed. Uh, Rio, of course, which I think she aims to be there the swan song of her career. What a way to sign off that <laughs> would be if she was able to do something special. Nicole Buchler then from Switzerland, the little dash meaning that she's passed. So her third and final attempt effectively is a first attempt at four meters and 80. If she fails, she's gone. If she clears, well, it will be a new Swiss record and she'll keep herself in the mix in this women's pole vault final. So, Buchler, the high standard of field events being set here at these World Indoor Championships, has got to do a new Swiss record to stay in. 4.75 is what she's gone over, the best in her lifetime indoors. Outdoors last year vaulted 4.71. First attempt, and she's using her last attempt at 4.75 to go over, hopefully 4 metres and 80. Yes, yes, yes! Cometh the hour, cometh the Swiss star. That's a Swiss indoor record. She's raised her own record to four metres and 80. That puts her in the gold medal position in this women's pole vault final. And when you think 
She had a couple of failures at 460, a couple of failures at 470, Peter. And look at that. Beautiful, beautiful jump. And, and what a clutch performance as well. I and mean, we saw her do that at those two previous heights. And look at that sheer joy. Because, you know, she's had a late start to pole vaulting, but it's steadily improved. And now she's right up there, really for the first time now, in the top ten of women's vaulting. And she's one of five women who are left in this pole vault competition. Eliza McCartney, the 19-year-old athlete from New Zealand, passed at 475, first attempt at 4 metres and 80. Can she follow Bukla? No, she'll have two more if she requires the two final attempts. That 4 metres and 80, that Commonwealth outdoor record you're alluding to, Peter. She's in super, super form. Her first attempt at 4 metres and 80, currently sitting outside of the medals in fourth, as it stands. Went over 4 metres and 75 at the second time of asking. Morris then, first attempt at 4 metres and 80. Oh, and it stays on! She joins Bukla over 4 metres and 80. That puts her into the gold medal position in this women's pole vault final. 4.95 last week here, 4.80 here already today. You must like this arena. And she's composed herself back wonderfully after that first time failure at 4 metres and 75. So two athletes currently over 4 metres and 80 in the women's pole vault final. And here's a young lady, Catherine, who's been looking very impressive indeed, as you can see by that clean card. Yep, so there's been no mistake so far for Stefanidi. Four metres and 80. First attempt. Oh, my gosh. This is just absolutely wonderful from the Greek athlete. She entered the competition at four metres and 50. She's taken every vault since and has a completely clear scorecard. And that was a super clearance as well. Four metres and 90 in this 2016 season. That was back at the Milrose Games in New York. And the world number three has just put herself in the pole position with that first time clearance at four metres and 80. And yes, no indeed. Greek woman has ever won this title. Eliza McCartney, her second attempt then at four metres and 80. But equal that outdoor personal best. Commonwealth record she's already set this year. Oh, oh. I hope she lands safely for a split second. Thought she might have been in a bit of trouble. But the young New Zealand athlete will have one more attempt at four metres and 80. All the different connotations that vertical jumps bring. Eliza McCartney talking herself through a height that she has gone over in 2016. You can just see by her face the joy of vaulting. She's loving the experience being here in Portland. Coming a wonderful 2016 season. 19 years old, already nine New Zealand senior records in 2016. Can she stay in this women's pole vault final? Third and final attempt at four metres and 80. Can she join Buchler, Morris, Stefanidi? Whatever happens, she's a super talent. No. Well, she gives herself a tap on the right quad. You see the countdown clock now with the least amount of athletes, less athletes in the competition. As Peter mentioned, they do get more time. So the three minute clock is ticking away. Yeah, she's got a composer. She's got plenty of time. She has it now. And she is being sensible. I mean, she's obviously enjoying this competition. And indeed, she will be fifth at worst. And that's a magnificent start to her senior career. There's a first championship as a senior. I mean, she did compete in the World University Games, of course, which is a senior level competition last year. But a brilliantly exciting talent. And to have already gone over 470 here is a pretty special achievement, I think. And already with the New Zealand record, the Oceania record, 472, is what she'll be looking at now with that bar, 480, a third attempt.
So she's recomposed herself, the young athlete. Rhythmical clapping. The support is here in Portland for her. They know their track and field in Oregon. Eugene down the road, track town, USA. Portland get it. They know they're seeing a massive talent of the future. Third attempt then for McCartney. Oh, well. Well, she really went for it, didn't she? And as I say, she's had a terrific championship. So there's always disappointment when you end up like that. And look at that, she had to height. She didn't push off quite enough, so she came down on the bar and down it tumbled. But I do look forward to seeing her emerging in, in future competitions. And I think uh, she'll be a force in Rio. Still 19, only just, in fact, into senior ranks. A handshake and a high five. And therefore, the new height is 4 metres and 85. And Nicole Buchler of Switzerland... Currently in the bronze medal position. For the first athlete to attempt the new height of 485. Super, super vaulting here. We alluded to it at the start of our coverage of these World Indoor Championships. Some of the field events, the majority of the field events are absolutely superb. The quality and the depth. And Buchler of Switzerland. She's raised her own Swiss record to 4 metres and 80. Can she take it higher? First attempt at 4.85. Drop down. She'll have the time on the clock. Outdoors 4 metres and 71 last year. And the time has gone. Clock in the bottom left-hand corner. Came to it quite late in terms of how long she'd been waiting. Because this is Sandy Morris, and this is her first attempt at 4 metres and 85, currently in the silver medal position behind Stefanidi. And only because of that second time clearance at 4 metres and 75, that's the only blip on the American champion's record. Can she go over 4 metres and 85? Oh, yes! Well, some of the crowd are on their feet on the back straight. She's tiptoeing around the, the big pole vault landing mat. Well, that little wobble at 4.75, the US champion, the first athlete over 4.85, jumps into the driver's seat in this women's pole vault final. So Morris is clear, which means next up in the women's competition will be Stefanidi. Stefanidi of Greece. We've seen Morris go over. Been demoted currently into the silver medal position. Can the clear scorecard continue? No. Well, when your first failure is at 4.85 in a competition, you're doing pretty well. But she joins Buchler with a first-time failure at 4 metres and 85. Again, it's a height within a compass, 4 metres and 90 this season. European silvers indoor and out for the Greek athlete. So the first little blip... Meanwhile, over on the far side, here's Jen Sura getting ready. 485 is a really good height. Only eight women in the history of indoor athletics have ever cleared this height. That's the standard which these women are attempting. Jen Sura's been passing. Here she comes for a third bolt of the competition. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. First time over four meters and 85. Joins her teammate Sandy Morris, so the US 1 2. But she's first, of course, because with no failures, Morris has had one. So Morris will have to go higher if she's to beat her compatriot. A lovely clearance by Sora. Both Americans leading the way. Stefanidis decided to pass on her second attempt here at 4 meters and 85. So for the women, it'll be Buchla who will be up next on the runway, on the back straight. So in the women's competition, Buchler passing at 4 metres and 85 on her second attempt. As did Stefanidi, so the new height is 4 metres and 90. So we already have a new championship record, which is 4 metres and 85. And now we have athletes getting into super heights here, 4 metres and 90. Buchler, first attempt. 
Well, it's a mind game as well now because we're getting into heights that some of these athletes have never got over and Nicole Buchler is one of them. Arrived here, remember, four metres and 75. Well, She's I'm already sure. done a national indoor record of 480. Sandy Morris, four metres and 90. First attempt currently in the silver medal position. As I mentioned, due to that one failure, the only one failure she's had this evening, took a couple of attempts to get over four metres and 75. She's currently sitting behind her teammate Jennifer Schurt in terms of medal positions. But that could all change if Morris could go over four metres and 90. We're setting history with the heights these athletes are attempting and clearing in this World Indoor Championship. But a first-time failure. You will have two more attempts that are needed to get over four meters and 90. It really is wonderful, the standard that we have here over the years. It's rise so rapidly. Stefanidi of Greece, her first attempt at four meters and 90. Eucla and Morris. Not successful. And the Greek athlete. Close. Oh, it was close. Well, remember, she failed at the first time at 4.85. She passed on her second attempt. Therefore, she will have one more effort at this height of 4 metres and 90. Currently in the bronze medal position behind Schur and Morris. Just three quarters of an inch over 16 foot. Oh, she waited patiently. Jennifer Schur, her first attempt at four meters and 90. Currently in that gold medal position. First time over 460, 475 and 485. She was equal fifth two years ago in Sopot. Oh, well, well, well. Yes, she says, she punches the air. The pressure has been put on by the world indoor record holder. Has vaulting equipment in her house in New York, like Renola Villani. Has training equipment. Renault has a full run up and a vaulting pit in his back garden in France. That was Rick Sir, who introduced her to uh, pole vaulting at a relatively late age compared to some to start. And that's another new championship record. <laughs> Third championship record already in this meeting in the women's pole vault. Getting excited here. We can have a little sniff at a potential increase in her world record. She's in good enough form, isn't she? But this athlete's had a wonderful World Indoor Championships. Whatever happens, Nicole Buchler of Switzerland. This is her last attempt at 4 metres and 90 due to her passing her second attempt at 4.85. The Swiss indoor record that was hers has been increased. Arrived with 4.75. She's gone over 4 metres and 80, a lifetime best. If she can get her mind around it, then the body's halfway there. To stay in the competition, currently in fourth place. Oh. <laughs> a height too many, but nonetheless, 4.80 today. A terrific performance by Buchla. OK, she's just outside the medal, isn't she, in uh, fourth place? But uh, I'm sure she'll be absolutely delighted, particularly when you look at that card, and see the struggles she had at some of those middle heights. So we now know the three medalists in our women's pole vault final in no particular order, but I'll give you it at the moment. Sure, Morris and Stefanidi. Parents, Harry and Eddie. Supporting their daughter. She has a World Indoor Championship medal. We don't know what colour she's going to have yet, Sandy Morris. Silver at the moment. Her second attempt now, though, at four metres and 90. Chasing her teammate, Jennifer Shirt. Oof. No. She'll have two more if she chooses to take them at this height. We're cat and mouse now. Potential heights may be passed. Gold medal position up for grabs. So that's the second time failure. She stays in the silver medal position with one more attempt left. Will she take it at 490? Will she move the bar up? We will see shortly. 
Stefanidi of Greece. Her second attempt theoretically at four meters and 90, but this is her last chance saloon because she passed her second attempt at 485. She's in the bronze medal position to stay in this final. No. So the Greek athlete entered the competition at four meters and 50, had that clear scorecard all the way through to four meters and 80. But she exits this women's pole vault final at a super height of four meters and 90. The bronze medal position. So the first Greek woman to win a pole vault medal at the World Indoor Championships. Wasn't Kiriakopoulou, was Stefanidi. Oh, no top eight finish previously, and she's done well, the Greek athlete. Of course, she's frustrated, but that clearance at four meters and 80. For the 26-year-old, got her a medal, and a fist pump from the coach here in Portland, which means there's two athletes remaining are battling it out for World Indoor Championship gold. The new height is four meters and 95. This is the first and only attempt that Sandy Morris will have because she decided to pass her final attempt at four meters and 90 and put it up to 495. It's a smart move by the American, the US champion last week. He's potentially on the verge of becoming World Indoor Champion a week later. Currently in silver, can she put the pressure on Jennifer Shirt? No. So with the two failures at 490 and that one at four meters and 95, the silver medal goes to Sandy Morris of the USA. The bronze we know has gone to Stefanidi of Greece, which means that Jennifer Schur of the USA, the world record holder, with that clearance of four meters and 90, joins Stacey Dragila as a world indoor champion for the US of A. And the exciting thing now, guys, is what's she gonna do? What heights are we gonna see Jennifer Schur have a pop at? <laughs> yes, it will. Will she put it straight to a world record? Will she try something else on the way? That's, uh, she's discussing it with husband Rick and uh, we'll find out very shortly shaking the hands of the officials and that's either to say good luck to me or I've called it a day yeah we saw her you know yep. concerned about her Achilles or whatever it was and uh, well if you're going to attempt a world record you want to do it when you're absolutely right and she clearly didn't feel that but a wonderful triumph nonetheless Jennifer Sir the world champion the first world champion at these 16th IF Indoor Championships with a new championship record, 490. It's a fine start to the meeting. It is an American win in the first competition. Doesn't get much better than that. But what a night this was for the women's pole vault. Well, it was super, wasn't it? You got three medals on offer and two of them go to the home nation on the first event of a World Indoor Championships. Talk about setting the crowd up for a wonderful four days. <laughs>